Hello my name is Rob and welcome to the first tutorial in a series of video tutorials on how to create a DMOD. And in this video I'm going to be showing you what we're going to be using, the editor we're going to uh, need to be using to create a DMOD. And I'm going to give you a quick run over of it. And what you first want to do is go to dinknetwork.com. Go right down here and click on download now. And you'll get this page. And you want to go right up here. Click on files. You can install Dink Smallwood from here, but I'm assuming you've already got it if you're looking into creating a DMOD. And go down here, click on utility. Scroll down until you see Windink Edit Plus, it should be the bottom one. Click on that. And click download now. Uh, so, this is the editor we're going to be using because in my opinion it's the easiest for a beginner to learn since it's like a Windows style application so after you download it you want to extract all the files into your dink directory don't create a new folder just extract them all into your dink smallwood folder in your C drive or wherever it is okay now after you've unzipped WinDink edit uh, uh, into the dink smallwood folder you'll notice you've got this skeleton this is exactly what it says, it's a skeleton DMOD and it'll be used when you want to create a new DMOD. But you don't actually need to do anything with it, it's all automatic so you don't need to worry about that. It's just basically a skeleton for any new DMODs you want to make. So let's go into Windy Get a Plus. And I'm going to give you a quick run over of all these options. I'll just open my DMOD for now. We'll create a new DMOD in the next video. So I'm opening the Dark Avalon. This is a uh, much older version, it's quite incomplete. It's probably ages old, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm going to give you a run over of all this. we got File, uh, most of these are self-explanatory, New Creates a New DMOD. Uh, you got all these options, be explained in the next video. Open Opens a DMOD, get a list of DMODs to open. Uh, save obviously saves your DMOD, Play DMOD. That will open Dink Smallwood so you can test your DMOD out. For instance, if you press play right here on my DMOD. It'll bring up Dink Smallwood. And the DMOD will open. You've got the Dark Avalon. And yeah, whatever. Okay, we'll close it. Um, and. Yeah, then you've got DMOD properties where you can edit your DMOD properties anytime you like. And you've got the three most recent DMODs you opened and exit. That's pretty self explanatory and I'm pretty sure you know what it does. Uh, in edit, we've got edit, redo, cut, copy, paste. Should know what all that does. It's pretty self explanatory. Display minimap. Now I'll show you what that does. Say you're in a map screen. Uh, the shortcut for that is tab, so I'm just going to use tab. Uh, if you want to just get back to the minimap, I don't know, you can just press escape, it's easier, but just display minimap or tab, and it'll go back there. And if you press it again, it'll go into the last screen you're in. And that's display minimap. you got mode, sprite mode, tile mode, hardness mode. They will be explained later when we're using them. Uh, so will tiles, but these are all the tiles you'll be using when mapping. We've got settings, screen match, that's also used for mapping. Yeah, most of these will be explained later. We've got sprite hard default, now I'll show you what that does. Uh, when you're mapping, and you've got a, um, say you've got a sprite. S say you're mapping an area with a lot of, uh, where's the rocks? A lot of hard sprites and you're sick of going properties and clicking on hard if you don't know what any of this means it'll become clear later uh, when you tick hard the sprites hard and you can't walk through it obviously but every time you put down a sprite you have to tick it again now if you want it to be default on hard you just go to sprite hard default now when you grab an object and put it down it'll be hard by default so that's that if that wasn't clear because you don't know what any of those other things are, then it will become clear in a later video. Auto update minimap, that'll obviously do what it says, it'll auto update this map. 
when you create a new screen and stuff. Snap to grid, pretty self-explanatory. Snaps to grid. Uh, we got options. Now, you can play around with these, but I'm going to read out my options that I'm going to be using while doing these tutorials. So you can set the same options if you like. We got screen gap 3, max undo's 50, auto save 0 because I get used to saving myself, but you can put auto save on if you want. Tile brush 1, snap to offset 16. I'm pretty sure that only affects anything if you got snap to grid on though, but I'm not sure. Show minimap update progress is ticked. Uh Enable fast minimap update is ticked. Show help text in main window is ticked. And enable auto script is ticked. And all the other boxes aren't uh, unticked. They're not selected. So you can click OK. And then we've got tools, import screen. And this will import a screen into your DMOD. So let's say I wanted uh, a screen from another DMOD here. What you do is you go import screen or you press L. I'm just going to press import screen. And let's say I wanted to import a screen from Cloud Castle 2. I'd go to the Cloud Castle 2 folder, which is CC2. Click OK. Now, what you want to do is you want to open the DMOD first, detail the minimap, and memorize the screen number of the screen that you want. Because you cannot detail it from in here. You press space and nothing will happen. So just memorize the screen number right down here, and you'll be able to get it. So let's say I want screen number 240. Uh, you click on it, it'll take you back to your DMOD, and you click on the square, oh, the, the screen that you want it in. And detail it again, and there's the screen, but I don't want it, so I'm going to right click on it, and press delete screen. Okay, you can also press take screenshot. That's quite handy for creating maps because uh, it'll just let me just turn fast mini map update off. Otherwise, it doesn't detail properly. And I'm going to take take a screenshot, and I'll show you screenshot generated in DMOD folder. So if you go to your DMOD folder, which in this case is TDA for me you'll have your screenshot right there and that's handy for creating a map okay so uh, C to D converter that will be explained much later and FF create will be explained much later view make sure toolbar and status bar are both selected and help about winding get a plus will tell you about it. it's winding get a plus version 1.2 okay so click OK to get out of that Okay, so that's all those options. Uh, there's also a few shortcuts here, but they're self-explanatory too. Just hover your mouse over them and they'll tell you what they do. You've also got this side part. You've got visions in use. That will tell you what visions you've got in use over here. So let's just say I went in here, in this map screen. Whatever, whatever screen you're going in, it'll tell you over here how many visions are in use on that screen. So you know. So let's say you go into this screen. See how it's got visions in use 0, 1, 2. They're the visions that are in use on this screen. So if I was to go vision 0, you can see that. Vision 1, vision 2. And each vision brings up different sprites. But that'll be explained later. It's a very handy feature. It's used to add sprites to a screen based on certain variables or whatever. Um, then you've got your scripts. Uh, this will show you all the scripts within your DMOD. I've got quite a few because I've been working on this for a while, even though this is an older version. Uh, sprite library, oh, I don't even use that. Um, and then you've got a status bar down the bottom. We've got uh, ready down here, Just don't need to worry about that. You've got your screen number, so if you move your mouse over here, you see it change down there. Tell you what screen number you're on. The X position and Y position if you're in a screen, so if I'm in a screen like that, you can see them changing. Yep, okay, there we go. Um, but you get the picture. And then you got the vision that you're using. So if I went in and changed the vision to 1, it would be on 1. So you can keep track of that quite easily. And it'll tell you if Sprite Hard Default is on down there, because it's got Sprite Hard. So if I was to click on Sprite Hard Default again, it'll turn that off. 
Okay, and also, lastly, you got this yellow text down here. It tells you what you can do. Just press F12 to turn that on and off. Okay, so in the next tutorial, we're going to be starting a new D-Mod, and I'm going to be going over some more stuff, like some of the stuff that wasn't explained fully in this video. And throughout these tutorials, we're actually going to be developing a D-Mod and creating a D-Mod and stuff, so I'll see you next time.